Yeah, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is War Pony back at it, back at it. So, this video is going to be about the Democrats being pro migrant. The Democrats being pro migrant. This is why they're doing nothing about all of this going on. You just put that together. As soon as I said it, you, you ain't no dish. This is the reason why they're not doing nothing right now. So you thought I was a, a young 20-year-old, did you? Didn't you? Well, today Matt marches, Matt marks my 20th year anniversary if I was still married. 20 years. I got married 20 years ago, buddy. Yeah, respect my level, sucker. I know, I look young, don't I? They say black don't crack. I look young, don't I? I got married 20 years ago, just in case you thought I was some retarded special need person out here. I got married 20 years ago. What were you doing 20 years ago? Huh? Can't be serious. Twenty years ago the day I was married. April nineteenth, two thousand four. But I had to divorce her. <laughs> I had to divorce her. I went downtown. I filed the paperwork. See a woman is always feeling some they left I ain't sexist, but in that situation. They can be left feeling some type of way, you know. I ain't do it for that reason. I ain't do it for that reason, but I had to move on with my life, you know. I ain't no sucker. Yeah. So you rarely find men that file for divorce. That's my age. I went down. I went down there and filed for divorce. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm not your entertainment. I'm showing you your weaknesses. I'm showing you your flaws. I'm showing you your country. I'm showing you how weak you are as a community. Huh? I'm not your entertainment sucker. You're trying to save face. You think I'm stupid. This your way of saving face. Coming by and finding entertainment and trying to check out the goods that I got. Yeah, you know, this your lame way of trying to save face. You're trying to play it off, ain't you? Well, you're playing off the fact that I'm the champ. You're playing off the fact that I'm the champion. Instead of focusing on the element of champion, you focus on all these other things, right? Well, won't you slow down and focus on the element of the champion? Just like some old ignorant Americans, aren't they? You focusing on everything on except the fact that I'm the champion. And I still prove to be, you know how? Because I'm progressive with being the champion. It's one thing to be the champion in 76. 
but I'm still progressive with being the champion, ain't I? Well, I'm telling you, progressively, the solutions. I'm showing you progressively the, the solutions. You ain't make me. I've been like this. This is why you suffered the whole time. Well, you got COVID-19. That was us. Oh, you thought you thought it came just from a, merely a bat from the, from China. You thought it came from a bat from China. Well, didn't you put a disease in my body the year before that? You did, didn't you? You put a disease in my body, didn't you? Well, I know you thought I was just a random a random case of a, a STD, didn't you? How about now? Boom. Put two and two together. You see all these spiritual manifestations that happens with playing with me, right? So what you think happened when they put an STD in my body? What you think happened? I'll tell you what happened. I'm the same person. You want to you know, know what happened? Y'all got COVID-19. That's why you got it. That's why those people died like that. That's why they're still in the grave like that. You thought you was tough and you're not. Who cares about being evil? I'd rather be a soldier to put them in the grave. You want to be evil. I want to put them in the grave. Who you rather be? The evil guy or the guy, the grave digger? <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. What, who, what guy would you rather be? The, e the evil guy or the grave digger? That part. Now you see the difference. You can be evil. Go ahead. It's kind of, it's kind of the beginning point, don't you think? <laughs> like a bratty little teenager in their room, thinking they're evil, right? It's kind of the the beginning point, ain't it? You're a beginner, ain't you? <clears throat> I'd rather be the grave digger than the evil guy. Oh, you get off on being the villain. So really, it's more that maybe you missed something in your, in your childhood or something. The tension, you you know, you're an attention whore. It's, you're more, it's not so much that you're evil. It's You're more of a, you're an attention whore, ain't you? <laughs> You attention whores. That's what it is, ain't it? You attention whores. I don't even think you're really evil. I think you're an attention whore. You're a whore for attention. Like I said, I'd rather be the grave digger than the evil guy. I'd rather let Let you go to the grave in warfare. Then boasting of just this evil attitude. You see how that's really nothing? It's really nothing. Hmm. So this migrant situation. It's migrant situation. Mm, boy, that's good. I made that good. It's not soapy tonight. <laughs> the Democrats aren't doing anything about it. 
Can you tell me why they're not doing nothing about it? I, I can tell you exactly why they're not doing anything about it. <laughs> you know why they're not doing anything about it? Because they're pro-migrant. You're pro-migrant, guys. And if you're slow, you're going to think that I'm against it. I, I'm, this is about being anti-Hispanic and anti-Latino. If Well, last time I checked, they're not the only ones migrating here, right? And and, and my personality is if, if I want to, I can state my issue. So I don't have to, I don't have to, uh, Beat around a bush. I told you. You know. We're not going to be played with. If you wanted to be a clown, you should have went and joined the circus, buddy. Okay. You want to go juggle, you know, you want to, you want to juggle balls and play around. You should have went and joined the circus, buddy. Cause all you look like lurking around me is a clown. You don't look like killers and you don't look evil. You look like clowns. Let's make that clear. I've lived with military people that did real tours that killed people in, in as military. I lived with them. I ate with them, slept with them. And I've always been a soldier on my own. That's why I got their, their, their respect in the end. I offered one of them to a fight. Why are you worried about them other little fights? Won't you look at the the fact that I offered a military, ex-military that done real tours and killed people, I offered him to a fight. I think that balances it all out, don't you? Let's just say I choose my battles wisely. <laughs> No pun intended. Them being soldiers. I get that, I think I chose my battle wisely. Huh? Well, I got my respect with an ex military you know, challenging an ex military man. I think I chose my battle wisely. See, you want so bad for me to be evil. I'm not evil. I'm not evil. I'm, I'm a real soldier. I'm a spiritual soldier. Your worst nightmare. You know why? Because I don't have to go out there to prove, improve anything all out there in the, in the elements like you do. And I'm getting it done right here. all out there with the migrants you're all out there with the migrants ain't you see you just wait for somebody to hate you and you really a person like me I ain't got time to slow down to hate any particular people to be real with you to be real with you I don't have time to slow down for anybody let long you what this is about is showing people the real crises that you got in your country, which is undeniable. And, you know, that it's the migrants. It's the migrants, right? 
Why don't y'all stop playing clown games? But see, I can state, I can state my issue. Okay, I know you thought I was playing, didn't you? Now you want to get serious, and it's too late for all of that. It's too late for you to get serious now. Don't you think so? I think so. Because guess what? I already got my respect. You know when I got my respect? For child marriage laws you got in your country. Boom. Well, how serious are you going to get, buddy? Against that. <laughs> how serious are you going to get on that? Let me at them. Don't hold me back. Well, I mean, I don't know what you're going to do. You got child marriage laws in your country, buddy. See, what most people would have said, what most villains would have said, is that you should have attacked me before I got to the point where I started talking about child marriage laws. <clears throat> That's how I know you ain't no, you're not evil. That's how I know you're not thugs. Because most villains would have said y'all you, 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 should have attacked him before he started talking about child marriage laws. Well, how would they have figured that out? Everybody would have just thought we killed someone that did something to children. Now I vindicated myself. Now everybody see that's not even true in the context that you're talking about. And I proved that you have child marriage laws. Most villains would have said it's too late for even a villain would tell you it's too late. Well, yeah, time goes by and things change. <laughs> You let, either way it went, you let too much time go by, buddy. You let too much time go by. A villain would have said, you should have, y'all should have, y'all should have killed him. You couldn't have killed me, but let's just say if you could have. They would have said, you should have attacked him before, before he started talking about all that stuff he talked about. It's too late now. It's too late to oppose me now. See, Sun Tzu taught this in the art of war. When you get through the door, and I'm paraphrasing, and you slip through the door, your enemy, it will be too late for your enemy to oppose you. See, by the time I started talking about child marriage, that was the beginning of the end right there. Well, how can you oppose me after that? See, like, like the dude on Hangover. Hangover 2. He said, I only need a fighting chance. All I needed, all I needed was a fighting chance, buddy. That's all I needed. And with that fighting chance, I took care of my business. Because in this room, I've, this is where I found out about child marriage, right here. Chow. That was his name. He said, Chow only needs a fighting chance. Chow only need a fighting chance, buddy. That's all I needed. Me as Chow only needed a fighting chance. That's all I needed. And when I got that, when I got that fighting chance, when I got that fighting chance, guess what? Guess what?
I got information to destroy you. That's it. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. Child only need a fighting chance. <laughs> That's all I needed. And with that fighting chance, I destroyed you. Now, you got wars everywhere. You got a war against Ukraine. You got Israel fighting two wars on the battlefront. It really don't matter what I do at this point. I've already won. I proved I could be monogamous with one woman. Well, I was with one woman for a whole year. If I didn't get anything out of that situation, people seen that I can be with one woman. Right or wrong. That's how I won. I don't care about what how it ended. I care about the fact that I proved to be monogamous for a whole year, not having sex with no one else. I proved that. I didn't have sex with no one the whole time she was here in a relationship. Now, after is after. <laughs> so I proved to be monogamous. I proved that I could be with one woman. I didn't. I don't have to be with a man. I proved that. Well, I never asked for a man during the course of our relationship. So if I didn't get anything, you see, I already won. So if it would have been a good woman, I would have been able to be monogamous with one woman without any other type of sexuality. That's what I got out of it. See, at some point I knew at minimum, I could get that out of the situation. Well, people will see that I'm credible with being with one woman. People could see I am could be credible with one woman and I didn't have to be with a man. That's what I got out of it. Oh, yeah. See, people like me live for more than sex. <laughs> so, the migrant situation. The migrant situation. Guess what? They're going to be hiding by the time Donald Trump gets in office. They're going to be hiding by the time Donald Trump gets in office. Mm-hmm. Democrats are wasting time. Democrats are wasting time. Democrats are wasting all their time. They're wasting nine months of time. By the time they get in the office, George, I mean, um, Donald Trump. <laughs> I was going to say Bill, George Trump. <laughs> George Trump. <laughs> <laughs> George Trump. By the time Donald Trump gets in office,
that migrant situation gonna be out of control, man. It's kind of funny how the president that you that you're depending on, his name is Donald, and my name is Donnell. It's kind of funny, ain't it? Kind of funny how Joe Biden is 81 and I was born 1981, isn't it? Kind of funny how he's born at, he's 81, I was born at 81. Donald Trump is 77. That's kind of funny, ain't it? 7, 7, 81. Hmm. See, you shouldn't have played with the prophet. I'm the one that fights the Antichrist. Not saying any one of those are the Antichrist. I'm fasting against the Antichrist. I say humbly. So, if if I have enemies, who do you think the spiritual world is going to see that needs to die? I'm fasting against the Antichrist, all of you can die for me to live. Well, what will you do in the case of the Antichrist? Oh, oh, you'll try to shoot him. You'll try to shoot him? You can't be serious. I'm doing a spiritual fast against the Antichrist. Oh, you didn't know that, did you? I'm doing a fast against the Antichrist. You know what that means. I don't think you realize what that means. Let me let me help the slow people. It means if it came down to my life or yours, y'all gotta die. That's what it means. By the boatload. Because like I've said before in the past, you're just a number. You're just another number that's going to be loaded up on the boat. Can't you see it? Loaded up on the boat. and and But now you're here acting like you're someone. No, that's real though. That's real, because you determined your own worth. You didn't decide to go to school. You didn't decide to do anything with yourself. You decided to be mediocre. So why are you acting like you're hot stuff with me and you're mediocre? That's all I'm saying. This is why I'm blessed. It's too late. I've been fasting against the Antichrist for a long time, buddy. This is why I take everything that comes with this. That's why, listen, that's why you're the devil you are. Against me. You know why? Because the satanic kingdom has summoned you against me. That's why. He knows what I'm doing. He knows I'm his worst enemy. I know you thought I was on his side, didn't you? You couldn't see me, could you? That's why I told you you can't see me. See, it took somebody like me to get America in, in line, buddy. It couldn't be no pip squeak. A pip squeak. That's what we call it in the South. A pip squeak. A pip squeak. Like a rat. A pip squeak. A pip squeak can't get it done. So for the Illuminati, let me tell you something, buddy. Let me tell you something, little buddy, little boy scout. 
I, I, I'm fighting. I'm fasting against the, the, the Antichrist, you little Boy Scout. You little Boy Scout. Let me tell you something, Boy Scout. We blow. <laughs> I'm fasting against the Antichrist. You're a wee blow. You got your wee blow badge yet? You got your scouts honor? You understand what scouts honor is? <laughs> You're a boy scout in this, in this war, buddy. That's all I'm letting you know. You're a boy scout in this war. Freemasons, you're a Boy Scout in this war, buddy. You got your beep, you got your wee blow badge over there? On your Shriners hat? You got a wee blow badge on your Shriners hat? You got a wee blow badge on your Shriners hat, buddy? You can put it on the back when nobody can't see it. <laughs> You could put it on the back, buddy. Put it on the back of your Shriners hat. I fight the Antichrist, buddy. Surprise. Because you know what that means. You know what that means. That means when it comes down to my life or yours, the power that I have generated here through that fasting Oh, it's a generation of power, you know. It generates power, you know. With the generation of that power, I've become more valuable than all of you. I've made myself valuable. I'm not being prideful. I'm identifying myself. I'm identifying myself. With that identification, buddy, that's like a diamond. Listen, you all can go to the grave for someone that is fighting the Antichrist. You realize that, right? You are, listen, you're a Boy Scout in this war. You realize that? That's why I focus on real wars that's going on in the Middle East. Why you got street punks out there. We can mold, I can, a, a million of them can be mowed down like blades of grass, including their women, including their women too. Because unlike these American punks, listen, I don't dance around and go goo goo gaga for these women. Okay? That's why, listen, I choose to be alone. I choose to be. You know why? You know why? Because really, let me tell you why. I don't have to be alone. I could I could be with somebody if I wanted to be. The reason why I'm alone is by choice. Because on these levels of power, you're not going to have no American that knows how to walk here and tread here. You got You have to tread carefully here. And you have to know your, what you're doing. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can't be here and you cannot tread here. And that's that. This is too important. My mission that I have to do is too important. Okay? And you all can die. I know. You thought you could. You thought it was so many of you that... <clears throat> The Lord would want you to live. Well, you want me to tell you why that's not true? Because even if that was the case and you lived, you wouldn't do nothing. You would be gay and lesbians. You would do you would you would do nothing spiritual. All you would do is fulfill your own lust and keep smoking cigarettes and drinking and everything else. You have in other words, you have no intentions of serving God. You don't think he knows that? You think God is stupid? You don't think he can see in you and know you don't have no true intentions of serving him? You don't have no true intentions of serving God, buddy. It's not in you. It's in me. 
So if God is going to pick based on that, he would never pick you, no matter how many of you it is. Oh, you didn't realize that, did you? Oh, you want an example of that? Noah. Noah and all the people that died. And Noah was the only one that lived. You want another example? Sodom and Gomorrah. All those people died. They did not live. So if you're thinking the masses is going to make you live, I'm sorry to tell you, if you know God, you know that masses can die and his people will live. It's been proven time and time in the Bible. You can go look. You can see, if you're smart, you can see example after example of masses dying and God's people living. Over and over again. Over and over again. This pattern always happens because the satanic kingdom is, is, is good for deceiving the masses. And then there's only a few people that really know God. I know they think they know God, don't they? Those are those are religious people. They won't make it. Many of them are doing everything that everybody else do. They're lesbians, undercover lesbians, and homosexuals, under undercover homosexuals, which is the most despised. It's the most despised type of homosexuals are the ones that never come to, t never admit it. You never hear them say anything they've done. Those are the most despised. Same thing with the lesbians. That's the most despised, the ones that acting like they don't have lesbian desires. So the migrant situation, Democrats, you know, they're pro-migrant, right? They're pro-migrant. This is why, this is why, uh, you're going through what you're going through. And I do those fastings, by the way, unto the glory of God, not for my own glory, to, to really fight in this war. To really fight in this war. It's my level of faith. I'm sorry that you didn't think about this. I'm sorry that you just thought that nothing could be done. I'm sorry you thought that way. So, now you see me for who I am. I'm more valuable than you perceived, didn't you? That's why you got COVID-19. That's why you got all these things. Because someone like me was going to come along and fight the Antichrist. This is why they've been fighting me. Now you get it. See, you thought my purpose was to serve your little country, your little American country. My purpose is bigger than that, buddy. My purpose was to fight the satanic kingdom. This is why I've been fought. And this is why I overcame. Because I really am with the Lord. So you see why you're despised and hated? You see why you, we hate you as a community? Because all you are are AMC theater watching bastards. 
This is why we despise you. Okay? We think you're good, but you're molesting children in child marriage. And your country is so stupid that they don't even know it's happening. That's how stupid you are. You don't even know you, you're the only country that don't even know your own laws. There's no other country like you. <laughs> you're right. There's no other country like you, buddy. You don't even know your own laws. You go to Iran, their laws, their life depend on the laws. You go to North Korea, their life depend on the laws. You go to China, they have to know what they what their laws are. They have to know. You're the only country that doesn't feel the need to know what the laws are. To the point where y'all been marrying children since 1929. You see how pathetic you are? You've been marrying children this whole time. What are you going to say? I'm right. It's not fabricated. I'm sorry. You can't use all those little side tri side terms and all of this, all of that. No, these little arguments. Nope. Not this time, buddy. Glory to God. He's given me, the Lord has given me information. The Lord has given me information to defeat you. Yahweh has given me information to defeat you. Boom. This is the information to beat you. And you thought I had a little bit of what you supposed to have so much of. <laughs> I got a little bit of it. That's how they like to put it. I'm a little version of you. How about now? How you feel about that now? You feel you still feel I'm a little version of you. You can't be serious. But I feel you're no version of me. <laughs> I feel you're no version of me, buddy. See that little space cadet, spiritual space cadet crew you got out there have proven to be incompetent. Okay, well, how come they didn't know about child marriage laws then? I told you what they are. They're space cowboys. Space cowboys, woo! I'm surfing. Look what I can do, woo! You a space cowboy, man. That's all you are. Reading people's minds, doing all this telepathy, witchcraft, and all of this. You a space cowboy. That's what I call you. I coined it in this definition. All these people out here doing all these spiritual acrobats and all of these, all these spiritual people, you ain't nothing but a space cowboy. That's all you are. Meanwhile, they got child marriage laws in America. There's wars breaking out against the children and when they when they're marrying children. While those wars are breaking out, you you are you a bastardly space cowboy. Can't be serious. Now you see how ridiculous it looks. You have to talk to the serious spiritual people. Now you see how stupid they look. You see how stupid they look, don't you? That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's why I just rather be alone. I'm not depressed. I just know what I am and who I am and what I got. And I got to protect it. Uh, I can't, I can't have, I'm too spiritual for, for people that, uh, just want to have sex. I can't have that. Just someone that just want to have sex around me. You know what I'm saying? That, that that that's not enough. It's not enough for me either. <clears throat> it's not enough for me. So. 
That's why I move the way I move. You can be good intended. You can have a good heart. But that's not a, that's not going to be enough. You got to be spiritual. And if that's not and if you don't love the Lord, if you don't understand, if you don't have a real relationship with him, then I'm too far gone. I'm too far gone. I'm, at this point, I'm fighting the Antichrist. Well, you are, don't even know if you love the Lord. You see how far gone, I'm, you see how advanced I am compared to someone like that? The only thing you can do is submit. And if you, and if you don't submit, like a spiritual military, and, and that's the context. If you don't submit, you can't be here. You're all out of pocket. You're all out of pocket in, in a spiritual place where someone is, is fighting the satanic kingdom and you don't even know if you love the Lord properly. You don't even know about if you're going to be a Christian. Now imagine the, the sucker I would be to fall for that. You have to be, you have to be submitted. If you're not submitted, you can't be here. As simple as that. And it don't matter how beautiful the woman is. I don't care how beautiful. I don't care how beautiful. I can see right through that. And the, the kind of guy I am, spiritual military. And my cutoff game applies to men and women. It applies to both. And you can die. <laughs> you can die. If I had to protect myself, I had to defend myself, I'm a soldier. And if you fight me in war, I will order you to death. I don't care if you're a woman, so what? Your vagina doesn't serve me any purpose. I'm not having sex with you. Uh, you know, men, some men are so goofy in our community. You're not even having sex for the woman with the woman and she's influencing you. She's influencing you and you ain't even having sex with her. <laughs> wow. You could at least be having sex with her for her to influence you. I'm, 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 I'm talking about in the context of obviously marriage. Uh, obviously in the context of marriage. You you could you let your wife influence you. You're letting you're letting women that you ain't even having sex with influence you. Look at that. Listen, man, listen. Your vagina serves me no purpose. Therefore, guess how I see you? I see you just like a man. Capable of hurting me, capable of deceiving me, capable of being a problem for me. All of that. And so. And I'm not going to be subject to that. That's why women waltz around and they put their little scent in the air and think that someone's going to be deceived or, you know. It doesn't work here. It doesn't work here. It has nothing to do with not having a strong desire for women. It's, it's having something to do with not having a strong desire to be defeated. <laughs> That's what it has to do with. A strong desire not to be defeated. There is no defeat here. There is no defeat. See, I tried to tell you. I kept trying to tell you. I'm from North Carolina. You still don't get it, do you? Our level of spirituality is higher and heightened than, than you high-frequency people. Okay? 
we're way past synchronicity and all the little stuff that you got going on, buddy. And then on top of that, I am a prophet of God internationally. And when I say that, I mean that the prophecies reach out internationally and that's been proven. So, so imagine these uh, prideful Americans trying to compare themselves to a prophet. Now you see how ridiculous it looks. You see how ridiculous that is? When you understand truly what a prophet is, do you see how ridiculous it is for them to try to compare themselves to me? This is why I deem myself, because in my case, it's not been an identity crisis, but they have had an identity crisis with me. It's safe to say, it's fair to say that, right? I think I hit it on the head. They have had an identity crisis with me. Right? They acting like this. They acting, they're hearing this. They talk about, so you don't think I should be talking about who I am? Think about that now. I can't speak for the next preacher. I can't speak for the next person. But I think because they're having an identity crisis with me, concerning me, I think I need to be speaking up for who I am. This is why. This is why I talk like this. Just in case you didn't know. The Americans have had an identity crisis of concerning who I am. It's a crisis for them. See how they're riding around and acting? Don't you think it's a crisis? <laughs> they're having an identity crisis. Concerning who they think I am. Okay? So, if you think I'm being a little prideful after I've beaten them in this identity crisis. Have understanding of them being in an identity crisis concerning another man, not themselves. It's one thing to have an identity crisis concerning yourself, right? But it's another thing to have a cornball, corny identity crisis for somebody else. Names, suckers. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you marrying children. That's what we come to find out. I mean, that don't, that don't, that don't, you see how that don't look too good? When we find out who your, what your identity is, we find out your identity is marrying children since 1929. That's your identity. think you're your own problem. Don't you think so? You're riding around. You're marrying children. I think you are your own problem. And you're trying to get me to come to my senses? What senses would I come to? I'm sorry, buddy. I've come to my senses. I've come to realize you're the enemy. That's that's me coming to my senses. Think about it. Look at the news. I think I've come to my senses. <laughs> I don't think you've come to yours. I don't know what you expect me to 
I don't know what senses I I supposed to come to in your what? Oh, some people trying to help me, help me. Oh, I guess is that what you're talking about? Well, they're not good at helping me. And we've done it on my own. God's kingdom has done it as protecting me. That offering of protection, do we know if that's even real? You know what I'm saying? Do we know if that is even real, bro? How real how real is that protection? You feel me? How real is that? So that's what I'm saying, bro. People are boasting of things and that that we don't really know is true, do we? We don't really know that we don't really know that's true, do we? But we do know that God's kingdom is manifesting. God is putting up results. He is getting it done. I'm playing my position in his kingdom and it's getting done, ain't it? We do know that, don't we? That's what I'm saying. We do know that part, though. See, America loves to make the enemy out of the black man. It is about color. Because if it was a white man, this would have been over by now. So all it is is a race war. If it was a white man, it would have been over. If it was an Indian man, it would have been over. Think about it. If it was an Indian man, y'all would still be playing with an Indian man. I don't think you would. I think I think I think if it was another man of a different color, then this would have been over. So I have to conclude that it's a race war. That's how smart I am. That's how smart I am, buddy. It's a race war. That's what it is. It is. It is. It is. Because with any other color, it would have been over. I don't care who's keeping it going. I don't care about none of that. I don't care if they're black. I don't care if it's black culture. I don't care who it is. If they're playing with the black man, then they wouldn't be playing with nobody else. Then it's a race war. That's what it is. But you know the good thing about it? We found out who America really is. Which is very good. We've defeated them. And um, it's almost over. Those are the good things about this situation. It's almost over. Well. Clowns. Clowns, man. I use you. You can't use me. I use you for booms. Ow. Ow. <laughs> I use you for booms, buddy. I use you for booms. I throw you around and use you for a boom. <laughs> Shows you what level I'm on, sucker. Because you definitely ain't on my side, but I can throw you around. You know how you seen in the, you know how you see in the karate movies where you got two enemies. He, he takes one of the enemies and throws them at the other enemy. I throw you around like a boom at the other enemy. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm getting out. You ain't. See, you've been saying a lot of stuff that just is not true, don't you? It's safe to say that, right? This is, and this is another thing that's not true. I'm coming out of this alive. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm coming out of this alive, and you're not. 
Now, I've been right thus far. I think people need to start listening to me. Start taking me a little seriously. But, but in your arrogance, you don't seem to be able to be capable of taking someone else more seriously than you take yourself. Well, I guess you're going to die that way. I guess that's the way you want to die. You might not think I have the heart to let you die, but uh, all you put me through, Arrivederci. Arrivederci. <laughs> Arrivederci. Okay. You playing with the wrong man. I got a good heart, yeah, but you're not going to be able to manipulate that for your own good. See how smart I am? See how mature I've become? <laughs> You're not going to be able to manipulate my good heart for your survival. Because how I see it, really all this is about is you trying to live. It ain't about, you don't care about who I am or anything like that. No. You care about your life, you living. After all you've done, you should want to die. But you're here not to die. You're here to save your pathetic life that should be taken anyway. That's how I see it. That's how I see it. I don't see why you want to live. What? So what are you going to do? You see how it all stinks? Like, why would you, what you want to do next? Why are you here? You know what I'm saying? What purpose are you going to serve? That's what I'm trying to show you. Don't you see? Don't you see? Time has run out for this community. And I've showed you without being biased. Some would say, because I'm just telling you the truth and I'm showing you the truth. I mean, it's not even really a biased message that I talk about. I, I just show you the facts. I feel how I feel. I'm on the side that I'm on, but for the most part, foundationally, I'm just showing you the facts. You have biased messages and perceptions about you, your culture, and all of that. Me, I'm just pointing out the facts. The facts that, uh, like the facts of Democrats being pro migrant. The Democrats are pro migrant. Yes, they are. That's why they're doing nothing about all these migrants running around like rats. Like a whole bunch of rats running over each other. I, I, that's, I, that's the only picture. You know, that's the picture you're thinking of, too. Let's keep it 100. That's the picture you're thinking of, too, ain't it? They're like a whole bunch of rats running over each other. I ain't being racist. It's what it is. Look at this. And you can't get into the what it is and if it's, if it's bad and all of that without people thinking it's racist. It's like rats running over each other. Listen, you think I'm racist because I said that? That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's what it looks like. You thought the same thing. You just didn't have the, the bravery to say it. It's like a funky situation. They all, it looks stinky. It looks funky. It looks like rats running over each other. That's what it looks like. Okay. And the Democrats are not doing anything about it. They're not doing anything about it. They're sitting back. And those are human beings. How, what are you going to do? How are you going to, how are you going to just wish, get that, how are 